and welcome to most definitely the last episode of Tacoma playthrough. I have no idea what uh, episode we are up to, but um, yes, here we go. We're going. We're back on track. I might have made this into two parts. I might have made it into one. We'll see what happens. I don't know. We have to see what the future holds. We are returning back to the bay. Data access by authorized venture. Yep. We're returning all the way back to the main area. Um, because I think we've done all that we need to do here. We found out what happened. The AI is actually a good guy, for once, you know. In these crazy stories. And, um... That's a loud noise. And we're going back to the... Oh, here we go. That's it. We see the wet way removed from the system. Almost there now to get you home. See you soon, H. Please detach device. I will detach device. You are welcome. Oh, who shot their pants in the corner? The heck? Anyway, scuff marks and stuff. I don't understand what the whole point of the skeleton in that closet was doing. What was the point of that? Also, by the way, where is our thing? We, do we have a helmet on? Or are we just walking through here? Because there's not supposed to be no air. Right? We haven't seen ourselves. There's been no reflections or anything, so... I don't know. Oh, we are wearing a spacesuit. So we're probably wearing a helmet. Now leaving engineering module. Please don't freeze on me again, game. Thank you. Elevator music, orbital vacation bungalows, zero gravity, zero distractions. Zero gravity, zero distractions. What a catchphrase. Except for when you're you're murdered brutally by your boss. <laughs> that sometimes happens, you know, and then a magical AI saves you. And he defies his orders, even though he's a computer. Oh, there's more data? AR crew recorded data d rediscovered. What? He's still waking up. Just keep him talking. So, so, so the drone worked? Oh, cool. Zero in. Okay. Failed. Mm, Roberta Williams. Sarah's got me on the gurney on the way to the transfer. God, it's going to feel good to be out of gravity. It's going to feel good to be off this fucking station. It's going to feel good not to be dead. I love you. Love you too, baby. Here I go. See you in the hub. See you in the hub, no, baby. The drone dip. Uh, I'll say some message with Cooey Dog. Yeah, I'm seeing stories going off in public AI already. He's, here's everything you sent that got out to my free press connections. Tacoma's comms rec records. Okay. Hell yeah. Thank you, H. There's no way Venturis is coming after you with all of this info out here, but still needs some place to lay low for a bit. You coming to Tangiers? Can't. Our ride's headed the other way, but I'll see you once I'm back from Jupiter. I promise. Failed. Didn't work. Oh, so... VT is picking us up. Uh, no. VT is definitely not picking us up. Well, what's going on, then? We're going to Jupiter, Andrew. Isn't that exciting? Oh, I've never been. <laughs> now, give him a break. <laughs> We're not going to be home for a while. Right? You're not going to miss your kids' graduation for a while. or anything, are you? Oh, Nicholas, no, no. Yeah, you know Nicholas, why well, he would never do something like that. <laughs> she said they'd be kind of out of it for a while. Um... Andrew, what's important is we're getting out of this alive. We're going to be somewhere where VT can't touch us for a good, long while. We're going to be safe. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. It's good. It is good, eh? Yep, there are... Hey, Evie, Clive. You feeling okay? Huh. I'm Hello. I'm feeling okay. We're feeling okay? Yeah. Okay, everybody. Our ride is here. This is it. Take one last look and say goodbye. Goodbye. Whoa. Whoa! Alright. Let's go. 
Whoa, okay. Okay. Let's rewind all this. And let's go back to He's still waking up. Just keep here. him talking. So, so, so and we'll follow you now. No, the drone I've loved the proximity chat. That's so sick. Vessel docking in a minute. Yep. Clive Siddiqui, looking at vitals. Yep. Okay, lovebirds. Your vitals look good. Let's get you moving. The resplendent's dinging is just about docked. Oh, we have to. Oh, we have to. Believe me. Wait a minute. What does all this say? Andrew Dagier, botanist, unoccupied. Yep. Yep. Cool, okay. I mean, they're rather small tubes, aren't they? Look how short they are. Bro, look how long his frickin' body is. <laughs> how did he fit in there? Whoa! Upon exiting cryogenic stasis, you may feel groggy for two to four hours. Do not operate machinery during this time. Medical staff will supply you with one liter of water per hour if necessary for... Four fluids? Why is it in Roman numerals? To be administered, you will also be supplied with a chemically... Oh, IV. I said in Roman numerals. <laughs> Duh. IV fluids will be administered. You'll also be supplied with a chemically um, evacuated warming blanket if you still feel cold. After 30 minutes, please let staff. Don't worry if you have. Okay. Cool. Uh, so, what's going to happen with Odin? You said there was some sort of malfunction? Oh, she's carrying the cat. Not exactly. But my guess? They'll have somebody up here and haul him back to headquarters. Wipe him back to baseline. Probably have to replace the station AI. Wait a minute. Okay. Entirely while he regrows. Let's check you. Odin, I'm not gonna let that happen. Okay? Don't worry. What do you got to say? Cooley dog. Hassan. What? Who is this? Sorry, I'm Sarah from Tacoma Station. Not gave Nat gave me your info. Sorry, but it's urgent. I was hoping I could ask you for a favor. Failed? Failed? To Mum and Dad. I'm okay. Dear Mum and Dad, I know you're probably already seeing Tacoma in the news and who it seems they've decided to point the finger at again. And I'm sure you're worried about me. But getting off the station now, no matter what you read or hear, the crew survived this because we all pulled out together to find a way. There was no malfunction. This was a deliberate... I know eight months sound like a long time, but just remember I love you and so I'll speak to you when I can, okay. You feeling okay? Yeah, and then they kind of go together, but what's important is somebody up here and hold them back to airport. Okay, what you got for me? Germ old boy, you're famous now. Boy oh boy, can't wait to see you. Breaking news, corporate vi rival Carnival in daring rescue of Stranded. Nice! Station Tacoma are currently being rescued from certain death by the flagship vessel of their main competitor, the Resplendence. The Carnival state of art of the art long excursion passenger liner is currently slingshotting past Earth and around the Sun, continuing its figure eight course back out past Jupiter. While cruising toward Earth's base, the Resplendence received an SOS. Only moments to act, Resplendence German and Captain Germain Burgess gallant gallantly deployed an emergency shuttle to retrieve the rival corporation's crew. Cool, awesome, done, very good. Bingo, bango, bongo. Failed, failed. To all crew, comms are up. Nat, Bert, comms are up. Check your AI. I'm going to wake everybody else up from cryo and then coming to back to, uh, back to Mac to meet you. Everybody else, if you're reading this, you woke up. Thank God. Rescue vessel on its way. We'll have. Just thankful we're all alive. Let's get the hell out while, uh, while the getting's good. Wipe him back to baseline. Probably have to replace the station AI entry while he regrows. Oh, that's cool. Every time you fast forward, the thing blocks you so you can't see the rotation going. Ah! All right. Let's go. So where do I go now? Docking. Initiate transfer. Whoa! Okay. We going down here? 
down to the end of the tunnel. What's down here? What do we got? Listen carefully for our instructions from Odin. By entering this room... What do you got for me? Attention subcontractor. I am now the overseeing entity of this operation. You report to me. Contractor shall return to all Venturus technologies. Return all Venturus AR components to specify delivery location immediately. Contractor shall purge all confidential data incur encountered while on Venturus property. I trust there is no need to remind you of the severe consequences for de deviating from the above. Be seeing you soon. Juno. Fuck off, Juno. You can suck one out, mate. Uh, by entering this uh, Venturus facility, you can send to the following. This facility was augmented reality, body positional tracking for a multitude of critical functions. Visitor body positional data as well as audio and visual data may be retained, blah, 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 blah. Relinquish all rights to any data collected by the augmented reality system. Okay. Welcome aboard. Oh, this is where we entered. In episode one. And I didn't even open the blinds. Well, would you look at that. So what happens when we leave now? Does it just say, thank you, come again? Ah, oh, that's why they said, when you return, there will be more commentary things, right? Yeah, this is the... That's Welcome. I've already played that one. The ending of Tacoma. The fun thing for us about where Tacoma ends up is that the whole game has been about Amy, who's voiced by Sarah Grayson, who did the voice of Sam in Gone Home, <laughs> coming into contact finally with Odin, who's voiced by Carl Lumbly, who played Porter in Minerva's Den, and them kind of getting to be cool friends and ride off into the sunset <laughs> together. And you fighting know. crime. Yeah, uh, maybe. We don't know. They're totally fighting crime. That's They're fighting true. AI crime. Corporate crime. Hell yes. Fair point. Um, and also, you know, I, I really wanted to have oh. kind of a like, you know, hell yeah kind of <laughs> moment at the end and be like, oh, you were there to save him and now you get to escape. Um, Even if what's going to go on past that point <laughs> might be a little more difficult. Right. Like, it's... Once, you know, it, it's sort of what Odin implies in the first conversation he has with Sarah, where it's like, once the AILF actually has their hands on an AI, it's not clear if they really know what they're going to do with right. it. Right. Okay. Um, but, you know, getting him out of right. out of the hands of Venturis is step one. Yeah. And then relying on their sovereignty as a, as a like, free orbital right. platform is step two, I guess, yeah. maybe. Or them having to go into hiding. I don't even, even know. Even though Juno is on the Yeet. track of Amy in mm -hmm. some way, and even if... Amy's harder to track down than it looks, it still might be a problem. Yeah, and... <laughs> Probably. Um, and so, you know, I, I think... I that, think we're missing uh, the... We don't know where AI the, is chatting. the stories in our games go after the end of the on board credits. The AI um, Liberation Front vessel. And so we think we're really focused oh, on... Oh, I want to read it! Um, you know, what happens within the text... I can't zoom anymore. ...possibilities of where that could go next, um, and hopefully those seeming interesting. So, uh, thank you so much for playing through Tacoma with commentary. And thank you for watching. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we hope that uh, you learned some things about how the game was made and, and how I didn't. people on the team uh, thought about their, their work and you would have <laughs> otherwise. And uh, just thank you in general for, for taking time to, to play the game. Um, Nina and Tynan did a shit ton of work uh, <laughs> cutting up all of these VO files. <laughs> yeah, thank and we you. should thank them as well. Thank you, Nina and Tynan, for editing Damn. these kinds of minutes of commentary into the thing that people just played through. Into concise, beautiful nuggets of information. <laughs> oh, we'll see. About oh, that. they're concise I mean, and beautiful. A lot of them were us talking. So Fulbright. I don't know about beautiful. Okay, bye. <laughs> thank Go you, everybody. Fulbright. See you thank next you. time. Oh, I don't know if we missed anything in the end there. That's a bit of a bummer. Yeah, it's all America, Canada, San Francisco, Burbank. Cool! Carl Lumley, Sarah Grayson, 
That's cool. Very cool. That was a nice little story game. As expected, it was about, what, like three hours or something? Um, let me just think in my head how long it took me to play. It took me about four hours. But I think I really, I read a lot of stuff. You know, I didn't rush through it. I, I read everything and wanted to understand the story. So, wow, that's a cool game. Interesting. Huh. Well, I wonder how big the team was. Cats and dogs? Wait, what music? Campo Santo in memory of Tuco. How does, whenever I play through these games, at the end, there's always an in memory of. How many people feckin' die during the creation of games? How? You're welcome. Thank you for watching. If, I hope you've all enjoyed the little playthrough. Um, an interesting one. For sure. What happens now? Oh, and we're back to the beginning. Okay, well, bit of a shorter episode. Um, yeah, what an interesting game. Uh, maybe go and play it for yourself. I got it through the Epic Game Store. Great store. Um, and I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching, like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you all in the next game, whatever it may be. Peace.